All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Holy Ghosta kicking it off with a map from the Crimson Map Pack. This is called Shatter. We're playing Infinity Slayer. I'm hopping in right in the middle of a game, so this is really interesting. Hopping right into the action here. I got Toasty Waffles right sitting right behind me. He's probably not going to say much, but he is there, just so you guys know. Starting it off pretty strong. This game I do fairly well in. Uh, I feel pretty confident about this gameplay. There's a few things that I'd like to talk about this map specifically. Uh, you see here, um, it's a very, very big map. And that goes for all of the new maps in the Crimson Map Pack. That's Wreckage, Scatter, and, with, and Harvest, I think, is the other one. Um, the cool thing is they finally brought, back the, brought in the Extraction game type, which this is not Extraction. Like I said, this is Infinity Slayer. But we will go over Extraction another time. So, I'm going to just start trolling in a ghost. We all know that trolling in a ghost is a fun thing. We've all dealt with it before. And then you get other ghosts that troll you when you're trolling in a ghost, and it just makes it not as fun. Um, it's Sometimes it's hard not to kill your teammates when you're zooming around in a ghost. But it's fun nonetheless, um, unless you have another ghost chasing you all the time. ghost -a in a ghost, exactly. So, all right, so I've never really been a vehicle guy. It's never been my thing. But ever since uh, Halo 4 came out, I've been just really on these Banshees. These Banshees have been my thing, and I've just been loving it. I don't know what else to say. Uh, unfortunately, there's no Banshees in Shatter, so I've been using the Ghost next best thing and just trying to get as many kills as I can. Picking off the guys that are just hanging out in the middle of, you know, out in the middle, in the open type thing. I'm just doing everything I can to pick them off, annoy them as much as possible. You know, I think that every time a ghost shows up on your radar, you should have the troll song playing. I think that would be very effective, um, very uh, just appropriate for the situation. Um, like I said, being annoying in the ghost, cruising around looking for some people who don't know what they're doing and don't know how to play big team maps, uh, which is one thing that I'd like to get into. I think that's a nice transition there. Uh, see this guy? He's just kind of hanging out in the open, and even though they got me, because he was able to use the uh, plasma pistol to stop me, which is a very good idea. I don't know why that guy got in my way. But it's a really good idea to have the plasma pistol as your secondary weapon, even though I don't use it. Um, it's really good for big team because then you can stop vehicles a lot easier, um, makes it easier on you to get, uh, get them jacked and take them away from them or do whatever. So uh, here I'm actually playing with some of my teammates. Uh, we got Waffle Rocket and we've got Mayhem also. Toasty was not playing in this game for some reason or another, not sure yet. But that's alright. So, close quarters. Close quarters is the way you should try to play in a big team map. Now, on a big team map, obviously, they're huge, so there's not a lot of close quarters, but it just happens that in Shatter, it was created that way, so that there were close quarters that you could actually utilize and uh, use not only for cover, but also for close quarters battles. Things with, like, scatter shots and shotguns and, well, in this case, sticky launchers. See, I got the, these guys... Both those guys right there were in a really bad spot. Use that such great range on the sticky launcher. You can't argue with the range on the sticky launcher. Uh, sometimes it just does exactly what you want it to. Other times you really have no clue what you're doing with it. That's just how I feel anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm really trying to figure out how this map works, seeing how this is, this is my first time playing the map. I don't really know what's going on. Just trying to feel my way around the place, trying to figure out where the ground, you know, where the cover is, where the openness is, you know, all those different things. So, I found this ledge and I'm really enjoying this ledge because it gives me a really good vantage point, which is high ground. High ground is very effective, especially when you got angles like that. Use that radar on your sticky launcher, it helps a lot. Okay, if you didn't know it, there is a radar that sticks out on your sticky launcher. And as soon as your, your sticky launcher is stuck to, or your, uh, your grenade is stuck to something, it will pop out of your gun and you'll be able to see if there's anybody around it. And if there's anybody showing up on that radar, chances are if you pull the right trigger or whatever trigger you pull to, to shoot things, you're going to get a kill or you're going to get a really, really low and able to finish them off with your DMR or your VR, whatever you start with. So right there, I saw the Mantis and I was like, uh, no. I ran away from Mantis for a reason. First of all, I know that I have one sticky launcher, or one or two left, and I know one will not do it, and chances are I'm not going to be able to get a second one off. Um, even if you stick him with one, you, you feel like it should kill him, but it does not. It doesn't kill most vehicles in one hit, especially if they're full, which that guy looked like he was completely full shields, full health, everything. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm looking for every opportunity I can to find guys to kill, but it looks like they've gotten a little bit smarter than they were about a minute ago. Except for this guy, just kind of chilling there. Looks like he was like AFK or something, AFC, whatever you want to call it. And I just happened to get him, so that was nice. 
So trying to help out my guy in the Mantis here because obviously our Mantis is what keeps our team going. I mean, they're really destroying. Whoever has a Mantis and is continually owning the other team, that is, that's, that's the team who's going to win. That's the team I want to be on, in fact. So I'm trying to keep our Mantis alive, and you'll see I did it the one time, and I really was able to help him out before the guy jacked him, and I'm able to do it again. Fooled by a hologram. I'm constantly being fooled by holograms, and it annoys the crap out of me. Anyway, so I'm really watching my radar closely because that's really... See, here again, I am able to save uh, our Mantis and get a Killing Frenzy, which I'm a very streaky player. That's kind of the way I play. I don't get really, really extravagant overkills or kill tacklers, kill atrocities, blah, blah, kill the guys, all that stuff. I don't get, I don't get awesome multi-kills, okay? It doesn't work for me. See there, I, I destroyed a ghost by simply using my D DMR, okay? Uh, first of all, DMR is really important in big maps because it gives you a lot longer range. DMRs and light rifles are really good for bigger maps. Um, but a lot better than BRs, anyhow. Uh, but I was able to kill a ghost with a couple shots left in my DMR. That's because I knew uh, that I would uh, be able to kill him because he was really low. You can tell when their ghost is on fire, smoking, you know, whatever, and their shields are low. So I went ahead and shot him. It's really good if uh, like the other team has a Mantis or something. If you can get your whole team to collaborate and all of you guys just completely go ballistic with your DMRs or whatever you've got to shoot him, chances are you're going to kill him and you're going to kill him really fast. And if you don't kill him, you're going to get him really low. This guy outsmarts, my, outsmarts me by using his jetpack to get the leverage on me. I should have backed up a little bit more because I really wasn't paying attention enough um, to the guy. And, I, you know, I, I should have considered that he might have a jetpack Again, here I am just shooting the ghost. It's always good to shoot the player because obviously they die a lot quicker than the ghost would die. Makes sense? Alright, so you see here I've got a choice of three things. I figure, you know what, I've got a DMR. I'm not bad with DMR. You know, it's, I'm a little bit better than I am with a sticky launcher. So what I do is I go ahead and get the damage boost. Damage boost is a wonderful, wonderful addition to the Halo series, and it is just absolutely devastating to the other team if it's used right, and if you've got a decent DMR, because sometimes mine's just a little bit off. But that's totally fine. So what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to put myself in a position where I can pick off some players um, rather easily. Right now, I, I end up in a pretty decent position um, to get a few guys, but I made a careless mistake, and that ended up costing me my damage boost and my life. Good thing is, I was able to target the damage boost guy on their team and do it, so... And kill him off, but then he got me with a bolt shot, takes me down off my damage boost. A lot of times you think when you have a damage boost that you have more health than you used to, but that's not true. You don't have more health, and you don't have speed boost or anything, it's just simply damage boost, even though you feel faster and you feel just awesome when you have it. It's kind of like drinking a Red Bull, it gives you wings. But, anyway, there's another ghost trolling around again, except for this time it's on the other team, unfortunately. He is destroying my teammates left and right. So what I'm doing, like I said before, I'm just raining down shots on him, trying to take him out as quickly as possible, or destroy his ghost, whatever. Alright, you see here, there's a guy here using this rock for cover. Last time, the guy was able to get leverage on me because he was higher than me. So I decided to uh, just use the rock like I did before, except for I realized he couldn't get higher than me that very easily. Plus, I was keeping the guys pretty low. So we finished the game pretty strong. I do really well. I believe my last, my final score is 24 and 4. So thanks guys for watching. That was Shatter Infinity Slayer. Ghosta out. And toasty.